What is up teachers? Today I want to show you how to add and install the Brisk Teaching Chrome extension to your Chrome account. I'm also going to show you how to pin it to your Chrome extension toolbar and have it pop up when you open Google Docs. The first thing you want to do is open Google Chrome. So let's do that. Once you're in Google Chrome, you're going to open the Chrome Web Store at chromewebstore.google.com. Once you're here, you're going to type in Brisk Teaching, AI Assistant for Teachers. Once you're here, you're going to look for this blue button and select Add to Chrome. If the button happens to say Remove from Chrome, you've already installed it. Add Extension. That brings you to this screen where you're going to need to agree to their terms of use and privacy notice. Then select the Google account that you'd like to use with Brisk Teaching. Once you've done that, you're going to need to enter your school, subjects, grade levels, and if you'd like, how you found Brisk. The Chrome extension is going to invite you to share it with your friends. I'm not completely sold on it yet because I haven't used it very much, so I'm going to skip this. And Brisk is going to ask us, would we like to start with making slides from a YouTube video? That sounds cool. Giving feedback on a student's work, or changing the reading level of an article. I'm going to say giving feedback on a student's work. Brisk Teaching is opening a copy of an essay on The Great Gatsby. And the Chrome extension gives me a very helpful reminder. The Chrome extension will not automatically appear in my toolbar. I need to go up to what I call the puzzle piece or your Chrome extension control panel up here and make sure you pin it to your toolbar. So let's do that right now. We've got brisk teaching. I'm going to hit the pin. That is now done. And the brisk teaching Chrome extension is in place. It's probably time I get rid of my Bitmoji. Chrome extension. Down at the bottom, we've got this icon, which is going to always be present now and float in our Google Docs anytime we are in a Google Doc. I'm going to select Give Feedback. Let's select Glow and Grow to give some commendations and also some constructive criticisms. Let's adjust the grade level to ninth grade and let's say check punctuation, capitalization, and spelling. Also make sure that statements are supported by evidence from the book. Okay, I'm just literally making that up. You've done an excellent job identifying major themes in The Great Gatsby. Your writing shows a good understanding of how these themes connect to the characters and plot. You've included some specific examples. Try to include more direct quotes from the book. Be careful with punctuation. Consider organizing paragraphs. I can copy all of this feedback and put it here at the bottom if I want. Maybe insert a line. My feedback. Just to test to make sure that our installation was successful, let's open a brand new doc and see if the brisk teaching icon shows up at the bottom right. Remember, it should sort of float there. There it is, ready for us to use and we can continue to try these different features. Wow. And that's it. We've installed the Brisk Teaching Chrome extension in your Chrome account, and we're ready to use it anytime you want to provide feedback on student writing or any number of other features, some of which will be demonstrated in future videos right here on the Teachers on Fire channel. Thank you for joining me. If this video was helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time right here on Teachers on Fire.